Hey everybody, welcome back to Holy Roller Guitars. Today we have the Squire Stratocaster Affinity Series guitar here on the workbench in this Lake Placid blue color. We're going to be taking a look at its parts and specs, um, starting off here at the body and then working our way up to the neck specs. So we'll first start getting started uh, with the pickup outputs and then taking a look at this bridge. Uh, so here's a two-point tremolo with the six individual saddles. And we did get this floating in the last video to uh, 4, 30 seconds. So it is a floating bridge. Of course, it wouldn't be a bench video without a plane flying over. So enjoy the planes flying over. Um, it's all stock. The pickup heights are set to fender specs. So I believe 5, 64s, 4, 64s, 5, 4, and then for the humbucker, 4 and 4. So you have your master volume, your tone for your neck and your middle, and then your tone for your bridge. And then this one also works with bridge and middle when you're in these positions. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I did end up fixing the output jack or input jack, gave it a good setup, put some new strings on it, but we're just going to take them off very briefly uh, just to take a look at the, uh, the parts, the pickups. But there are your modern, uh, modern you know, Squire tuners with the vintage in style uh, where you put the string through the uh, tuner head. So that's pretty cool. And then I did get that as clean as possible, but did get a clean, polished up these frets. If y'all, I don't know how well the camera will catch it. There you go. Did polish up the frets and then uh, clean and dress the fingerboard. So uh, let's get started with the with the pickups and then uh, with the pickup readings and then we'll take a look at the pickups themselves and then we'll take a look at all the next specs so uh, thank you all for joining me and here's a little short clip of, uh, of a giveaway that we're doing remember we're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers so uh, we're giving away a coffee mug and a c130 sticker so don't forget to like the video subscribe and hit that bell notification thank you and god bless Alrighty, so starting off on the bridge we have a reading of 8.20 your bridge and middle pickup is reading 3.38 your middle pickup is reading 5.64 your middle and neck pickup is reading 2.82 and the neck pickup is reading 5.53 and that is everything fully open yeah, so the neck pickup is a little bit softer than the middle pickup. Alrighty, uh, let's get a look at the back of the pickups and then at the inside of the cavity of the guitar. And then we'll go ahead and start moving on to your neck specs. And uh, please wear your safety glasses when uh, removing your strings. I like to preach safety. Thank you. So here we're going to look at the pickups. And I just wanted to show you here at the end. Uh, it says WH white and then it has B and I'm assuming that's for bridge pickup. So here's your part number there. Your middle pickup, I believe this one was upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. So let me see. Uh, so part number here and then uh, WH white and then M for middle. And then your neck pickup part number and uh, there and then WH N for neck. So... And they are wax potted. I'm assuming that's what that is. There's that. There's this. Just from the side, they're using the spring instead of those uh, those grommets, the orange ones. Here's your PCB board for your five-way switch. Here's your Alpha 250K uh, second tone pot. Here's the first tone pot here. And then your volume here. And then I like how they put the shielding here. So there's that. And let's take a look at the body. So the body is uh, painted in here with some kind of shielding. Uh, here's your grounds. And then there's another grounding here that goes to your pick guard. Um, I'm assuming that's where the, the shielding is for the pick guard as well. Again, remember, we fixed that input jack or output jack. We, uh, we fixed the screws here on the tremolo. And then a beautiful look at the color or at the paint. 
that's a more accurate color right there. All right, and uh, the body is poplar and it is thinner. So we'll get the uh, thickness of the body just in a little bit. And we're gonna get it from the upper horn here, this part here where the cutaway is at, and then down there by the output jack. All right, so here's your beautiful fingerboard, black dots. It is a 21 fret. And then your, I'm thinking there were medium jumbo, the frets. And then your nut looks like somebody dressed it like some pencil and then your headstock so starting off here at the headstock you do have the glossed over headstock and then you have these vintage and style kind of uh tuning heads where you can slide the uh, string through and i really do like that and i really do like the tuners they do hold well um, so first things first we're going to get you the scale link so it is 25 and a half the radius is nine and a half. No compound radius here for a squire. Just wanted to get you all that. Let's get the nut width, the 12 fret width, and the first fret neck depth, and 12 fret neck depth. And then we'll get to the contour of the of the Alrighty, nut. Starting off here at the nut width. I think this is different from the deep dive video. Um, not sure. Oh, there it is. All right, so starting off at the nut width, we have 1.66. For the millimeters, we have 42.1. For your 12th fret, we have 2.03 and 51.6 millimeters. So for your first fret neck depth, we have 0.87. And for your millimeters, we have 22.5. For your 12th fret neck dip, we have 0.86 or 0.85. It's getting thinner. And for your millimeters, we have 22.0. So here's your neck profile. I think they called it a modern C for this, this one here. Very nice and rounded, especially apparent on the 12th fret there. Right there, or if you want to see this portion of it. Now, y'all let me know down in the comment section if y'all want to see the measurement like this, just to see the cutout. But this is very accurate to what it looks like from the top here. Alrighty, um, let me get the strings back on and the pick guard back on, and then we'll take a look at the back of the guitar and the back of the neck. All right, and we're back. So here are the new modern tuners that Squire is using on the Affinity series. I really like these. I think they're a great upgrade to the series. Here is the uh, designed and backed by Fender, uh, crafted in Indonesia. So this is an Indonesia guitar. Here's the beautiful satin neck. I left that on the wood grain on this one, but not on the flame. There's some very little flame here that I tried to show y'all in the other video, but really couldn't come out on camera. Let me see if I turn this light on. If I turn this on full blast, let's see if it'll come out. Mm, very subtle. Not even sure if it'll come out on the camera right here. But anyways, uh, here's the neck. If you look down the neck, it's very rounded, very even, even sized neck down the, down the neck. Again, it still has the plastic here. Beautiful color. Working our way down to the tremolo system. I did end up putting back the original Squire Springs here. Because mine are over here. Um, the silver ones that are more heavier tension. Uh, but looking over here, this is the white back plate that you get. It's just a single ply back plate. But the color on here is beautiful. Uh, one big thing that I noticed on this one is this gouger here. That... Um, the, I'm guessing like where the screw for the tremolo is coming out. Uh, I don't know how they engineered that, but or why it's like that, but that's the way it is. And then the tremolo, very small piece here. You can see the different size compared to my finger. 
Um, I'm thinking if you get a thicker one, if you upgrade the tremolo or if you upgrade just this piece here, um, I'm sure that that'll give it more sustain and more weight to the guitar because I'm having trouble with rattling coming from this area or very it's sounding real hollow. So anyways, there's uh, there's the back of the guitar on the neck and uh, uh, we're going to get you the thickness of the body. And then I think we should be done. So starting off on this portion of the body, on this upper horn, or 1.57 for the upper horn. Again, 1.57 at the lower part. And again, 1.57. So it seems like 1.57 for this guitar body width. That's what it's going to be. Uh, I like to compare it to the Made in Mexico, which is 1.82. The bottom, 1.81. Sorry if the glare. And then the bottom here is 1.83. And the scripture for today is John 16, 33. I have set these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So today's uh, scripture, what that means to me is when you're going through tribulations, um, hard times in life, if you will, know that God is by your side. Um, the prayer that I love is the footprints in the sand prayer. And what the scripture means to me is take heart when you're going through something that is uh, troubling. Know that God is walking beside you and there is two footprints in the sand. But when there is only one footprint in the sand, that God is carrying you in his arms. That's why there's only one footprint in the sand. So take heart in knowing that God is with you and that he is holding you. Amen.